Greetings, YouTube. Hey, you know what's more boring than watching paint drying? Not being able to ever watch anything again. So we want to avoid that. Here's how. All right. There's an upcoming solar eclipse. I assume you're not living in a fucking cave somewhere, so you know about it. You also know anytime a big event happens like that, somebody's going to try to make a buck off of it. God bless capitalism. That's a great idea, right? Wonderful. However, in this particular case, there's a lot of people that are trying to sell solar eclipse glasses that do not work properly. They are unsafe. So when you attempt to view the solar eclipse, you're going to burn your fucking eyes out. We don't want that because I want you to be able to watch this channel for many, 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 many more years and be bored off your ass by me, not by total blackness in your eyes. First off, the simple answer to this thing is you want to make sure your eclipse glasses or solar viewer or whatever the hell you're using is actually safe and will actually work. Very simple way to do that, right? Like everything else, there's a regulatory agency that keeps an eye on these things, all right? There's an international safety standard for filters for direct viewing of the sun. Go fucking figure, huh? There's, that's mean people that want to look at the sun. But there is an international safety standard. That standard is the ISO 123123-2 International Safety Standard for Filters of Direct Viewers of the Sun. Now, right now, there's shitloads of fake glasses coming out, and they're labeled like they're compliant, but they are, or they're not. So we want to make sure that you take a look and try to find somebody that actually uh, is making correct glasses. Uh, so you want to make sure that what you're buying is actually a proper solar viewer. Right, you want to make sure it's safe, you want to make sure it meets the ISO 12312-2 International Safety Standard. Alright? So it's kind of hard to do that before you order something offline. Luckily, Amazon has decided to do that for you. Right? That's great because there's a whole bunch of fake stuff coming out. Alright, so you want to buy some Eclipse glasses. Real simple. Click the link, go to Amazon, there's a list of the ones that actually work properly. Huh, simple enough, you don't burn your eyes out, and uh, you get to stick around and watch a channel for a long time. Or until I get bored, whatever the fuck comes first. Alright, people, short, sweet, video.